Alright, let's rock and roll. I think this is recording. And we're on. 1974 net, four door, stripped. Completely. What you see is what is left. Wiper arms, gas pedal, column shell holder, B5 blue steering column with the wheel, column shift, with the wheel, with the key, ready to go. Everything on it looks good except for the outer of the steering wheel. It's actually green now. It's kind of cool. It looks aquamarine. But as you can see, the center and the rest of it is all B5 blue. Uh, steering wheel is not cracked. Not in any way. Not junk. And right below it, we have kick panel number one, which is also faded, but completely here. And still retains some factory color. The inside is brilliant blue. Here's the insulation pad that comes with that one. Still there, factory. Here's kick panel number two. Much better condition. You can see the paint really is nice and shiny here. And insulation pad number two. Also present, factory. Moving along, we have a bunch of molding, trim moldings for the inside door edges, I think. And we took them doors off. And uh, we also have B5 blue seat belts. Looks to be an entire set. This is from the front and the back of a four door car, just so you know. Go over to the dash glove box. This cardboard insert, as you can see, is in absolutely amazing, amazeballs shape, especially for New York. It's in very good condition. Uh, glove box door itself has faded. It was B5 blue. It has faded to a little bit of a greenish. You can still see the blue down at the bottom. Everything is there, including the uh, hinge plate. Moving along, one armrest. <laughs> one little lonely armrest all by itself for a four-door. Uh, a couple of plastic trim pieces, don't know what they are. Let's go to the back line. And... Uh, front seat out of again a four-door 70 coronet this is for a four-door not a two-door it's in excellent shape of course needs to be cleaned thoroughly with some serious soap and water but that's how it goes as you can see the material is awesome on this seat really in good shape there's the two seat belts three seat belts so we do have a complete set for a 70 there's the headrests. Now the headrests look great, but the chrome around it is a little cracked and whatever, just so you know. They are in good shape though as far as material wise. Still look nice and shiny. Seat needs to be cleaned. Alright, there's the holy grail right there. It's a 1970 pad I'm pretty sure. And as you can see, it also just needs to be washed. Here, let me turn it over. <laughs> it's still got the stamp on it from the factory. Check that out. Doop, doop, doo, 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 doo. Whole bunch of numbers scribbled up on it. You can see all the studs are in excellent shape. We had a lovely time taking this car apart. We even took the dash frame out too, which is how we got this out in one piece. That and pulling the windshield, which was loads of fun, without breaking it. The visors are in excellent shape. The exception being, prior owner put this mirror on it, and as you can see, it's got two little clip dingles right there. If you can live with that, then uh, these are in excellent shape. No splitting, and the ends are still on them. All right. Two pillar plastic trim pieces, excellent shape. This one actually has a piece of trim on it. I'm not sure if it's what, but going 
doesn't even show one. Moving along, moving along. We have an absolutely excellent mint condition here control plate for 70. As you can see, it's in unbelievably good shape. The ashtray is pretty much as shiny as they get. <laughs> 1970, the cord's still there. Everything's good to go on that. Oh, like I said, some of this stuff really needs to be washed. I have no idea if that's the dog print or a coon print. I would venture coon. Alright, we got switches, washer, we got light switches, and then we got the panel itself, which is in excellent condition really needs to be washed but it is in excellent non-cracked condition all right huh. here's the back so you can see what kind of condition the switches are in that's still actually almost brand new Look, minimal corrosion anywhere in there same thing with these switches over here they look brand new yeah, I imagine these switches will be worth a couple of bucks just by themselves. I'll have to look them up later. There's your part number for the piece. Alright. Uh, some more stuff. Uh, I actually forgot what this is. Hopefully somebody can comment or PM or just let me know what this piece goes to. But it's all there and it worked. And that's why I took it out. This, I think, goes up under the dash. Same thing. Chrome's in really good shape. Back of it. As you can see, again, in really good shape. Comes with a whole bunch of wiring harness. Dash pieces. This corner has a wrinkle right here, almost like from factory. I think that was factory done. Yeah, a little bit of a goof or something. And then, uh, same thing up here. It's in one piece, complete, not still on it. I'm not sure. I think that's, yeah, screw goes there, okay. There's the radio plate in excellent condition. As you can see, there's the radio. It's an AM radio, Chrysler solid state. All right, I have no idea why it says Chrysler when it was a Dodge. We took it out of. That's kind of funky in itself, isn't it? Maybe I should show the part number or something. Alright, there's the number. There's another sticker. There's another sticker. Maybe that'll tell you something, I don't know. Oh, there we go. That's the number I know you guys want. Alright, there's the other visor. It's minty. Could use a little bit of chrome polish up here. Both the ends are on these. They all need to be clean, but they're in excellent condition. And then there's the other piece of the dash. Same thing. Great shape. All the pedestals are still there, which are usually broken off. All there. That leaves what? Um, the dash. The dash is reading 74,255. And there's a parts number on it. That's kind of odd. Maybe there was no oil change. He wrote his oil change. That's hilarious. <laughs> Apparently at 64,000 we were going to change the oil. Don't forget does look pretty fresh. Of course, it's not no rally gauge. So I know you guys probably aren't interested in all this poo. Alright, some pieces of trim. Unknown from whence I got them. If you are a 70 B body guy, feel free to enlighten us as to what pieces I have removed in my foolishness to save for you guys. That might be windshield molding, I think. Yeah, it looks to be windshield molding right there. And then uh, this was the top piece, wasn't it? Yeah, so we do got a set of windshield molding at least. And those are the sides over there. Yay, molding. 
That might be the hood? No. I don't know what that piece is. Four door piece, probably. Yeah, with our lock. Can't tell what any of that is. It's a nice trim piece, though, and it's in great shape. Alright, and last but not least, the seats. Back seats are minty. I mean, like minty. Of course, they need to be cleaned. But as you can see, no rips, no tears, no snags. They look good. They look really good. Come on over here and help me flip this up so I can uh, show these guys the back of them. Uh, I would have done it the other way in the sunlight, but okay. Alright, there you go. Seat frames look good. Very minimal, 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 any kind of surface rust. All the padding is still there, looks fresh. This is the only one with a little bit of surface rust right there. That was the one that had the busted window, right? Clip it. Yeah, that was right where the door was, yeah. Alright, round two. Put the other one there. You go. Alright. Same thing. Looks to be in really good shape. No rust spots, or rot spots, or pitting spots, whatever you want to call it. Just really, really needs to be cleaned out really good. Alright. Um, again, a shot of the steering column end. Going up to the shifter linkage, we got everything, the plate, all that. It's a complete steering column, right down to the wiring plugs. There's the uh, holder bracket right there. Uh, it's a column shifter, T is in it. Everything worked on it before we took it apart. Alright, is that about it? I didn't cover the two tray pieces, but I guess so. I'll just post pictures of them because those are too brittle to bring out in the in the air, and they're in too good of a shape to rest to the wind. Uh, yes, we do have the package tray pieces and also the back tray cardboard separator that goes between the trunk and the back seat in mint condition. It's just a little windy here today, so we can't do that. I'm a little nervous about that glove box being out here. But all right, thanks for looking, and if you need something. Hit us up because right now it's taking up space in my place. Bye.